My name is Boris Mono, I'm a commercial film editor and photographer. And in this 101 I'm gonna explain to you how I organize my Photoshop files. Okay, in the last 101 I explained to you how I organize my editing projects and my project folders. And I explained to you that it's really important that all your projects and all your folders are organized in a way that other people understand exactly what you have been doing and they can just continue the project, open it up and just start working without having to look through a lot of unnamed or unrecognizable work steps. This is an old image that I've been working on a couple of years ago. Okay, as you can see here, this is the final image, the final master layer where everything is bounced into. But as you can see underneath, I got a bunch of folders where I organize all my adjustments, retouching layers and etc. All right, let's just turn everything off so you can see the starting image. And what I like to do in the beginning is to duplicate this layer and start working on that layer. And you can see this inside my retouch folder. And here you have the first layer, which is a, just a copy of the master background layer. In this layer, I'm just doing adjustments with the healing patch and stuff like that. And then I add another empty layer where I do some airbrushing and some more work with the healing patch or with the stamp tool. And as you can see here, the main advantage of working in layers, you can always turn on and off your adjustments to review what you've been doing. And then I start adding layers the more retouches I'm doing. I did some dodging in her eyes. Then I worked on the liquify and I always put the liquify in an extra layer just for non-destructive working and to review everything that I've been doing. And when I'm done with all my retouching, I put all those layers inside my retouch folder. I made an action where I can just mark my layers that I want to put inside the folder and then I just click the folder retouch action and it puts it into a folder. You can create these action quite easily. You see here I put it in button mode. You can go over here and just go into the normal mode and then you can create an action. Let's call it folder retouch or whatever you want to call that folder. I'm going to stop this action for a second because I don't want to record how I highlight my layers. And then I go back to record and then I take those layers, put them into a folder. He records that I put them in a folder. He will record that I rename the folder and then you just click on stop. Then you have your action folder retouch. Okay, then in my next folder I put all my adjustment layers. Again, I like to work in layers because I always can switch off a layer and review what I've been doing with the layer. And if they are all in, inside the folder, I can just click on and off all the adjustments. The next folder that I'm using is, for lack of an actual name, I called it second for like second adjustments and my second workflow. And here I put stuff like sharpening, noise, some more filters or some adjustments to create another look. And afterwards, if you put everything into a folder, it's important to create a master layer where you bounce all your adjustments, all your filters into one layer. And that's what I call master. Yeah, that's about it. If you do it like this with folders, it's all clean. You can review all your changes, adjustments and filters just by clicking on and off the folders and everything is non-destructive. So you can always go back to your starting point. Yes, this was one-on-one, -on -one, how to organize a Photoshop project. Always remember to keep it clean, to keep it organized so that other people can open the project and know exactly what you've been doing. If you have any questions, please feel free to post in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.